So, here is a little inspirational story that illustrates the fact that everything happens for a reason. Once upon a time, there was a king who had a very close trusted advisor. This advisor was a wise man with whom he would always converse with about problems that occurred and issues that required attention. But the king noticed that whenever there was an accident, the wise man would always say one thing. Everything happens for a reason and that's great. While the king liked the wise man, he wasn't exactly sure about what this means and how an accident can be great. One day, the king decided to go out hunting and he took the wise man with him. During the hunt, a terrible accident occurred to the king. One of his fingers got chopped off. The king helplessly asked the wise man why such an unfortunate incident had happened to him. Especially after ruling his country with such love and being so respected by all his people. At that very moment, the wise man just said, Everything happens for a reason and that's great. This time, the king reacted angrily and said, You have been eating my food and leaving from my wealth and now you only have these stupid words to say. You think that it's a great to have my finger cut off. The king considered him to be crazy and insensitive. So he then ordered his soldiers to throw the wise man and into prison as punishment. Some people who had sought the wise man's advice in the past visited him in his cell. Whenever they asked him how he was doing, he calmly replied, Everything happens for a reason. And that's great. People were puzzled by this and convinced that the wise man was out of his mind. After some time, the king decided to go out again on a hunting expedition with his troops. He fled deep into the forest far away, where he was suddenly confronted by a cannibal tribe that were living there. The tribe captured the king everyone that he brought along. The cannibal tribe was actually preparing for the festival of sacrifice. They were searching for the perfect sacrifice for the worshipping ceremony. And with just their luck, they got their hands on the king. He was destined to be sacrificed. As the shaman prepared for the ritual, he examined the king. As he examined him, he realized that one of the king's fingers were missing. He told the tribe master about this and said it would be refused because according to their religion, sacrifices can only be made to complete physical bodies. He warned that if they were to proceed with an incomplete sacrifice, according to beliefs, this would bring God's curse upon them. Taking this into consideration, they decided that the king was not worthy and the tribe master decided to release him. With great relief and shock, the king now figured out that if it wasn't for the finger he had lost, he would have lost his life. He remembered the word. The wise man had told him, everything happens for a reason and that's great. Realizing that the wise old man was right. The king went to see him on his return to the capital. He brought him out of prison personally and told him everything that had happened, including how his missing finger saved his life. It really was great after all, the king said, yet still confused. The king proceeded to ask, in my case, it was indeed good that I lost my finger. But what I wanted to ask you was, what was so great about you being put in prison and having to eat only dry scraps 
of bread. The wise man, at no loss of words, replied, Your Majesty, if I had not been brought up in prison and left behind, I would have gone hunting with you, and I would have been captured with everyone. They would have surely set you free, because you are an incomplete sacrifice. But for me, just like everyone else, I would have been sacrificed by the tribe. So it's great that I was thrown in prison before this happened. Like I always say, everything happens for a reason and that's great. The truth is, the wise old man in the story ever probably had no idea that things were going to unfold in this way. Sometimes all we can do is see things from a positive perspective and expect the best. Even during the most difficult of times, we just need to have an empowering belief that everything that happens to us, happens for us. It's all a part of a perfect plan that will favor us in the end.